Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pete's Garage. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to change the oil for your lower unit. Now we're gonna be doing this on a 50 horsepower Tahatsu. If you've got a 40 or 60, this video will work for you. If you have something else, then you need to check your owner's manual. You should be changing your lower unit oil after the break-in time of 20 hours and every 100 hours or annually. All right, the parts you're gonna need for changing out the lower unit oil are the lower unit oil, drain screw gaskets, an oil drain pan, a flathead screwdriver, and shop towels. And as an option, you can do this with a pump kit, which we are gonna show you how to do. So when you're changing the gear oil on your lower unit, you're gonna have two screws you're working with, your drain screw down low, and your check level screw up high. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this motor so that that drain screw is as low as possible. We're gonna make sure we have our catch pan underneath our lower unit. Now that we've got our catch pan in place, we're gonna start by undoing the bottom screw. So take that flat head, Now you gotta be careful with these, with these screws. Sometimes the gasket doesn't come off and it gets stuck um, in place. So make sure that you see the gasket on there or you at least get it out of the way. All right, you see we got oil coming out the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna loosen up our vent screw. And be careful with this, open it slowly because as you allow air into the top, um, the oil is going to start coming out a lot faster. You see, see that oil is coming out a lot faster. And if you can see on here, this one's got the gasket on it. This one doesn't. So once it gets done, we'll make sure we get the gasket out of the way. All right, now that the oil is just about drained out, we're gonna go ahead and get this gasket out of here. It's important to make sure that these old gaskets, that, that you don't leave them in place. If you end up with two gaskets in here, it's not gonna seal properly um, and you could lose your lower unit oil. So next thing we're really gonna do is we're gonna take our new gaskets and get our screws ready to go. I like to leave them up here on the cap plate just so that they're easy to get to when I start putting the new oil in. Right, so there's two methods you can put your new lower unit oil into your lower unit. The first one is you can take your, um, take your gear lube bottle, take a pair of side cutters and cut the top. You wanna cut it at a bit of an angle. Oh, I don't know. And we'll find that later. And then basically stick it in the hole and squeeze. Um, this to me is the messier of the two ways to do it. All right, the other way that you can do this is take this top off and get you a pump kit like this. Pump kit drops down on top, screw that into place. And then this other end, um, you can thread this into your lower unit. Now, with these pump kits, you need to make sure that it is set up for a Tahatsu. Um, a lot of them that, that work for Tahatsu, you have an adapter that you have to attach. So you see here, I'll take it off real quick. Um, this is the adapter. It just slides on top. And then we're gonna twist this a few times probably not enough yep not enough all right once we've got our pump kit attached to our lower unit just start pumping and what you're going to do is you're going to keep pumping until you see oil come out of this top hole you see we got oil coming out of the top so we're going to take our screw once we got that and we're going to go ahead and get that screw in place. 
Now that we've got our top screw in place, we can remove our pump kit. And we're gonna put our bottom screw in. Now you'll lose a little bit of oil, but it's not, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and tighten that. Take our rag, wipe everything down. And there you go. Brand new lower unit oil. If you're running your, your motor on a jack plate or doing anything where you're, you're running skinny, shallow water, you might need to be changing your gear oil more frequently than what your service manual recommends. Once you've completed all this and you've got your shop cleaned up, it's important to properly dispose of the used oil. Now you can take it down to your local car, auto body shop. They should recycle it for free. You can also check with your local landfill. Here uh, in Nueces County, the local landfill will recycle it free. So one of those two options should work for you. Hope that helped you out. Thanks for following along in this maintenance series and thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.